Sheeps like weed. I like weed too. Welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm very excited to bring you a vi new video today and to continue this amazing series. So let's go on. As we bought the weed we were a bit hesitant to smoke it because we didn't really know the source. So at first we just walked on down the beach and then we actually met a nice lady from Switzerland. And as we told her about the weed we just bought, turned out she actually got molested by our weed dealer a bit early. I mean like not full on molested, he was only cat calling her. But that wasn't the greatest sign for the quality of our weed. So in the end we parted ways with her and then we were just sitting on a bench contemplating if we should smoke a joint and of course we fucking did it. We rolled up a joint but we only had those like small cigarette papers so it was really tiny and I took a few drags and the weed really wasn't too bad. So as we finished this tiny ass joint we got the idea to go for a little swim because it was a nice warm autumn night and just really the perfect conditions. So we went into like, a, into like this big lifeguard hut on the beach. We went up in there to take off our shoes and shit without sand getting everywhere. And as we were getting ready to get into the water, we actually saw a guy sitting on a bench rolling a joint with a long pipe. And we were like, oh my god, this guy has long pipes. We can finally smoke a normal sized joint. I'm so fucking excited. So we walked up to this guy and we asked him like, hey bro, do you want to smoke a joint? We have some weed, we can put some in your joint. We can roll up together, have a nice smoke sesh. And of course he was down as fuck. And turns out it was another drunk German guy. He had a hotel just a bit down the street and in the evening he decided to go out for a walk, met a dealer, bought some weed just like we did but of course his dealer he was a little bit better because he also gave him two rolling papers. And so we sat on that bench, smoked the joint, we all got nice and high. It was a really enjoyable experience, we talked a bit with the German guys. Um, normal small talk of course but he had some interesting opinions. And then of course we decided we needed to buy some rolling papers ourselves because you can't really roll a joint without papers. So we went on a stride further down the beach in hopes to find some stores that were still open or maybe at least some kind of action. Because at this point the whole Ballermann was rather boring. And so we walked down the beach for like 10-15 more minutes and then we finally saw a small crowd of people. There were some drunk guys out but all of the clubs and stores had already closed because of Corona and there wasn't any place selling liquor anymore which was really sad for a party, uh, for a party island like Mallorca. We were rather disappointed but still we had a good time with the few drunk people that were still at the beach but there was always police around. I mean there was a police station directly at the beach and like all like 10-15 minutes there was a police car driving by and you had to toss the joint in the sand. It wasn't too much fun. And in the end, because we didn't book a hotel room for the night, me and my friend decided to sleep on the beach. And because we didn't want to get robbed, we decided that at least one of us had to be awake at all times and so I got about one hour of sleep that night and this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this next episode in this series and I promise there is gonna be more things coming up in the future. This vacation is just getting started so get subscribed and keep blazing.